Okay guys, so now we have unfold our drone. So it's already ready. The next preparation is to prepare your remote control. So using a mobile phone, you can also fly your drone without a mobile phone. But for visual, for the camera, uh, you can use a mobile phone. Just make sure that you install the DJI 4 for this Mavic. While there are also DJI software that is available on different drones. But for the Mavic series, uh, this is running on a Mavic DJI Go app. So, so first is to mount your mobile phone. Then next is connect the proper cable. So usually I use type C to type C. A type C to type USB default. Okay. Then this is the Mavic remote. So usually this type C then this one is a USB port. These are the joysticks and return to home, pause and another joystick for the controls here and the power on button. So usually before power on up also you can there's another option cable which USB default to type C you can also plug it here but since I only have this cable you can plug a full size USB here and just to turn on press I am in the process of before flying uh, usually press and long press that means the controller boot up while for the drone the battery press and long press see the gimbal is checking itself self calibrating then usually for the drones uh, you just need to open the or basically it will open up automatically the go fly app or the dj4 so once you on the app just press go fly and first things to remember is to check the number of satellites so i'm reading i don't know if you can see it um, i'm reading around uh, seven satellites then ready to go seven satellites eight running then first thing is to check the status of the the compass the IMU make sure it's all normal before flying because that's what are the cause of the flyaways especially if you your compass needs calibration then that's the time you need to calibrate it if you're traveling from different distance then you need to calibrate your compass more often so just check so i'm flying in a gps mode making making sure that number of satellites is more than 12 so 12 or 10 for me that's enough yep and make sure the home point is already updated so make sure the h is where you are near make making sure that so that the drone will return to its flown place okay so basically that's the pre-flight preparation in flight mode so we are already in gps mode battery for the remote is 58 percent and drone battery and it's basically ready to go so, and also the camera is also 
ready okay so that's it